selenium is now recognized as an essential trace element for ruminants. It is required in cattle for normal growth and fertility and for helping to prevent other health disorders such as mastitis and calf scars. But have you ever thought about what will happen if your cattle is selenium deficient? Hello everyone, this is Yash Saxena and you are watching Swadeshi VIP. And today we are going to talk about the selenium deficiency in adult dairy cattle. Selenium is found in a variety of enzymes and proteins found in animal tissues. It is a component of the enzyme glutathione peroxidase in particular. This enzyme prevents and eliminates naturally occurring peroxides that cause cell damage. It works with vitamin E to protect cell membranes including cell walls. This protection is especially important in muscle cells which work hard and consume a lot of energy and oxygen. Selenium deficiency most commonly occurs in young calves and calving cows but is also seen in adult cattle. To understand it better, let's talk about the causes of it. Many pastures are short in natural selenium levels, therefore cattle should be supplemented. The level of selenium in pastures is dependent on the level of selenium in the soil. There is a marketed seasonal variation in the selenium nutrition of grazing livestock with the lowest level occurring in the springs and summers. Unsupplemented cattle at the pasture such as late lactation or dry cows and cycling heifers are much more likely to show signs of selenium deficiency than housed cattle on balanced mineral ration. As we have discussed about the causes, you must be wondering about the symptoms of the selenium deficiency in cattle. Suboptimal milk production, suboptimal fertility in adult cattle, retained fetal membranes, mastitis, calf scars, premature, weak calves, perinatal death and abortions are some of the symptoms. In case of severe deficiency, you will notice some more symptoms which are more critical in young cattle, ill thrift, poor growth rates, chronic diarrhea and retention of winter coats, acute nutritional muscular dystrophy in young calves is noticed. Sudden collapse or deaths of calves within 2 or 3 days of birth, high mortality rates, subacute nutritional muscular dystrophy in older calves 1 to 4 months of age, stiff leg gait weakness and unable to stand or walk are some of the symptoms. With treatments available and prevention method, this can be cured. If we start with the treatment methods, the first priority must to be treat the symptom scenes. Example, progesterone treatment for cyst and intramammary antibiotics for mastitis. Selenium supplementation is long term solution. If supplementation is required, a proper preventive program must be instigated. To prevent this disease, it completely depends on the cattle keeper. The control and prevention of selenium deficiency depends on the increasing of supply of selenium. Vitamin E is commonly supplemented with selenium as there is a significant interaction between the two supplementations that can occur via injection that is strategic injection of selenium, vitamin E at specific time points such as 20 days before calving for the prevention of retained fetal membranes can be beneficial particularly in the cattle that are not receiving supplements. But you should ask your vet for the advice. Dietary supplementation. The dietary requirements for ruminants is 0.1 mg per kg of selenium which is easily and cheaply attained with the inclusion of selenium in feed supplies or salt and mineral mixes. Selenium can be toxic, therefore all feeds should be analyzed before supplementation begins. Next is pasture top dressing. The application of sodium selenate to pastures can be used as an economic alternative to individual dosing. So this was all about the topic. For more such videos on cattle health and dairy products, subscribe to our channel Swadeshi VIP. Till then, this is Yash Saxena signing off.